Hello everyone. Um, I'm not gonna speak too loudly because people are sleeping. But um, I guess by now I expect people to know about like the testing. But it seems like when I see the internet I, lately, I've seen like the free government COVID tests or like the in-home like testing kits where you can do it at your house. Um, and then like different tests out there that people are taking and I think there's still little to no information what the difference differences are but from my own experience this is what I found out basically long story short I got COVID and uh or before I got COVID um like the early stages I decided to take the antid rapid was it rapid antigen test thinking that that would basically show if i had covid or not right um when i first got the hint that i could have been exposed i took that and it showed up negative so long story short you know i thought i was good and then i would say a couple days later i started showing signs of like the covid like the flu-like symptoms where it's like body chills you know like bit of fever and then I think I waited a little bit and then once a week passed by thinking it was just a cold I remember I had shortly after no taste and smell so I ended up taking the anti and the rapid antigen test and then that's when it showed up as positive so I remember thinking that was kind of weird but long story short the difference is I remember I took the PCR test eventually, um, I guess later down the line, and that one was more positive in the sense of like more accurate, I would say. So if you're trying to, I guess, take the test, definitely do PCR tests if we want to know for sure. Um, I don't think that in the home test kits that are available that are free or whatever, wherever you can get your hands on it, where you do it at your own house. I don't think that's as accurate as just like you can take it like it's nothing. Um, I would say the PCR test is the most accurate if you're trying to for sure see if you like to know if you have COVID or not. And usually just to make sure I would wait a couple of days and then take the PCR test. And then for the anti, the rapid antigen test, that one is only for when you show obvious signs of COVID. So I wouldn't waste my time on those. And I think that's where the um, confusion comes from, where people think, oh, I test tested negative, so I'm good. But the thing is, if you think you've been exposed, maybe early on, the stages is very early on, I would say if you're really going to take the rapid antigen test i would wait a couple of days but for sure if you want to know for sure pcr test is probably your best bet so i hope that helps but yeah definitely if you want accuracy go for the pcr tests rather than the rapid antigen test that one doesn't really show like i said unless you're showing obvious signs but hope that helps and hopefully this maybe i don't know if it's gonna inform a lot of people but hopefully people start getting the idea of what to do to inform themselves but yeah hope you have a good day